Genoil Zcash AMD GPU liner with Silent Army Solver on a 6 GPU rig on zcash.flypool.org. Go to zcash.flypool.org and then scroll down to the Windows AMD tab. You're going to want to download, configure, and run Genoil's Zcash Miner. So click on the GitHub link. When you get to the GitHub page, you want to download Genoil's Zcash Miner version 4.1. So click on that. Click on Download. Save file, OK. Once it's downloaded, open the containing folder, extract, go into the new folder, then go into the next folder, and in that folder, create a new document. You can name it whatever you want. Here I've got my address, my Zcash address. If we go back to the Flypool page, we can see they've got three servers you can use, EU1, US1, CN1. We're going to copy the full example and then paste the command into your text document. You can change your server as you wish. I'm going to copy my Zcash transparent address and paste it over the address in the example. Then I'm going to change my rig name. I'm going to use 6RX. That's it. Click on File and Save As. Add a .bat to the end of the file name. Change Save As Type from Text Documents to All Files. And then click Save. That will create your Windows Batch file to launch the miner from. You can delete the text file that you created at first. Now double click on the batch file and launch the miner. Here we go. You can see it's working. It sees all six of my GPUs. The hash rate will pick up a little bit. Right now it's at 115 solutions per second. Now we're at 156 solutions per second. 169. This miner is integrated with the Silent Army Solver and that's why it does so much better than the NHEQ miner for AMD. But note that Genoil's Miner only runs Silent Army once. It doesn't run two instances of Silent Army at the same time. So perhaps in the future we will see a Miner from Genoil or from someone else. Maybe Mark, the guy that produced Silent Army with a Silent Army Miner that does run two instances at once. Now it does tend to fluctuate a little bit. hundred and seventy six solutions per second so you might have problems getting this running you might not it ran fine on this rig for me if you do have problems maybe just wait for a future release as I'm sure he's got some more things to work on here and a few bugs to clear up here we can see it's hit hundred ninety two solutions per second I'm not sure if the remote viewer slows it down a little bit. Again, it's not 100% stable. It does crash on me once in a while, so I will wait for the next release. He said he's working on stability issues. We can see it goes up here at 180s, 195. I've seen it hit 199. So check back in the future and I'll keep you updated on a new release. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.